Good morning Year 1, it's Mrs Willis. Welcome to your math lesson for today. Um, our skills shop this morning, we're practicing counting in twos. So, how we practice, you can use the video. You can find this one on YouTube. Um, it's counting with frogs in twos, or you can can't use one of any of the other videos we've used in class before. Or you can just practice with your adult, doing jumping in twos, clapping in twos, do something active. Um, or a bit of singing to get you warmed up and to remind you how we're counting in twos and then we'll come back and do the missing numbers so do you want to pause the video and go and have a go at practicing your counting in twos and then we'll come back and work out what the missing numbers are on this grid okay so we've got one we've got two three so what's this number going to be four two four six Eight, ten, what's this one? Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, counting twos. So we're going to carry on with our comparing numbers and objects this week as we started yesterday. Let's have a look. So this question says, who has the most letters in their name? Who has the most letters in their name? Uh, so let's count. Whitney has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's got seven letters in her name. Let's write that down so we don't forget. Seven. Alex has got one, two, three, four letters. Ron has got one, two, three letters. And Dexter has got one, two, three, four, five, six letters. Okay. So it says, who has the most letters in their name? Out of those numbers, who has the most? Seven's the biggest number there. So Whitney has the most letters in her name. Okay. Who has the least letters in their name? Okay, so Whitney's got the most. Who has the least? Yep, yeah, it's Ron, isn't it? He's only got three letters in his name. Ron, Rotna, three letters. How many letters have you got in your name? Can you write down the names of everybody in your family and how many letters they have in their name? And then work out who has the most letters in their name and who has the least letters in their name. So pause the video and I want you to have a little go at that task. Write down everybody's names in your family. Work out who has the most letters in their name and who has the least letters in their name. And then come back for the next task. Okay. Um, so for the next one, we're ordering groups. So we've got people who've got buns. So Mo has got how many buns? Annie and Dexter. Let's see who has the most rolls and the least rolls. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. This is where our counting in twos comes in handy. Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So he's got sixteen. Mo, Annie, how many has she got? We know that's ten because it was ten up there. And we've got another ten here. So she's got twenty. And Dexter has got 10 and 4, so that's 14 rolls. So who has got the most rolls? That's right, it's Annie. She's got 20. She's got 4 more than Mo, and she's got 6 more than Dexter. So Dexter has the least rolls. Eva brought in more rolls than Dexter, but fewer than Mo. So how many did Eva bring? So she's got more rolls than Dexter, but fewer than Mo. So she's got more than 14, but less than 16. So she's got a number that's between 14 and 16. What could that be? That's right, it's 15, isn't it? Let's check and count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She's got 15 rolls. So this one, let's have a go at placing the objects in order. 
So it says the least objects go here and then the greatest go there and then the ones that are in between. So let's see how many we've got. We've got some Numicon here. That's 10. Let's count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I always find it helps to write down how many you've got. Then you don't have to go back and count and think, oh, how many was that again? Especially if it's a big number, you don't have to remember the number. You just write it down and then that makes it easier to label. So how many have we got here? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 yummy chocolates. Okay. Uh, how many apples have we got in the bags here? One, two, three, four, five, and another bag of five. So five and five is ten. And we've got a bundle of ten sticks there. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so let's have a look. Which one is the least? Which of those is the smallest, the lowest, the least number? It's ten, isn't it? So we'll put the apples in the least box. Which is the next biggest? Hmm. 17 isn't the next biggest, so is it 12 or is it 13? Which comes next? It's those 12 yummy chocolates, isn't it? 10, 11, 12, and then it's 13. So the greatest number there is 17. So we've got 10, 12, 13, 17. Okay, so you've got some tasks in your book that look like this. So it says, which tray has the most insects? You're going to have to count and work out which has the most. And then you can put a tick or a circle around your answer. So let's do that one together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what do I keep saying? I keep saying write down the number. That helps you remember. And you can look on a number line then and check if you're not sure. So 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, let's have a look at those. If I was looking at that and guessing, I would say, oh, that one looks like it's got the most. So counting and writing down really carefully um, is the only way to make sure you've got the right number. So this says 16, so it says which has the most insects. So you can put a tick or you can put a circle around your answer. Okay, so let's have a look at this next question. True or false? One group has more than the other. Okay, so when it's asking you true or false, it's asking you whether you think this is correct or not. One group has more than the other. Let's count. But well, looks like it. If I was just looking at it, if I was guessing, I'd say it looks like B is more. But let's check, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that one has six. Let's write six. So we're sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it's not asking you which one has more. It's saying true or false, one group has more than the other. And the answer there is true, isn't it? Because group B has got more robots than group A. Oh, my caps lock on. True. So that's true. So you can write true or in your book, you can just, un you can just put a circle around the word true. So I know what your answer is, okay? Oh, just done that one. Okay, so it says fill the circle using less than or equal to. So let's count how many carrots we've got in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten carrots in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, they're the same. So which symbol am I going to use? The same means equal, doesn't it? So we're going to put the equal symbol in there. Okay. If this was 9, we would use this symbol, wouldn't we? Because the pointer always points to the smallest number. We went through that yesterday. A quick reminder for you. Okay. So you've got your tasks here. So red, orange and yellow group. It says how many cherries does each show how many cherries each child has. So count them and write the number at the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11. So Teddy has got 11 cherries. And I want to see in your books that you've counted them carefully, you've written the answer, and then it will ask you to do something with those numbers. It might ask you who's got the most or who's got the least. You've got, all got some different tasks in your book. So you need to count carefully and you need to think really carefully about more, greatest and least, more than or less than. Green group, it says which shelf has more toys than the other? So you're going to count the toys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six on that one. One, two, three, four, five. So it says which shelf has more toys? So the one that has more is shelf A. So you can just put a circle around it or you can put a tick next to that one to show that that's the one you're choosing. OK. This question says, which pot has less flowers than the other? So you're looking for the less number now, the smaller number, and it's B, isn't it? B's only got two, A's got three, so we could draw a circle around it, or you could put a tick next to it and just show which one you think has got the less. So it says, using more and less, complete the sentences to compare the images. A has more than or less than B, B has more than or less than A's, and the words are here spell in your book for you so you can just choose the right ones and put them in okay blue group you need to circle which has the smallest number okay so there's some sunglasses here one two three four there's four of those but there's only two ice creams so two is less than four so you're going to put a circle around the two let's have a look here one two three four buckets and spades and how many lemonades one two three four five six it's making me want to go on holiday that sheet so it says circle the group which has the smallest number so four is smaller than six and you've got a number line on your sheet to help you as well okay good luck enjoy i'm looking forward to marking those um and seeing how you got on with that learning okay thanks bye bye see you see you again tomorrow for your next math lesson